All right, fellas, this is going to be a video on how to make uh, PTFE Teflon hose, um, you know, using AN fittings. So, what you basically do is you, whatever end you want to make your uh, connection on, um, you trim back this part right here. And let me zoom in a little better. You trim it back to reveal the steel mesh, right? So you, you trim back the steel mesh, right? Or excuse me, you, you trim the outer layer to reveal the steel mesh. And then what I do is I take just a, a screwdriver and I go in there and I just kind of work the steel mesh down kind of flat flay it out a little bit right as you can see you kind of work it down just work it all the way around because what you want to do is basically reveal the inside Teflon um, so what you got to do is just work it around till you get it nice and flattened out and then you're going to want to trim the steel here. What I use is just a cut off wheel and be very careful not to pierce this inner one. Uh, so I'll do that and I'll show you that how I do that. So this is what I use. This is a standard cut off wheel. And I just hold this down and I just go around trimming it. Excuse the noise. Once you get it all trimmed back to reveal enough to where you're going to grab your collet. These will either be aluminum or brass depending on the quality of fitting that you ordered. These are just cheap ones so you want to make sure they'll fit and seat all the way. You want it to seat to the very top lip and make sure you got enough clearance so that's good. So I'm going to take that off. And then you want to make sure the end of your PTFE is nice and flat. So I just take it and just, uh, you know, tr trim it nice and even. You got you a nice sharp razor blade, it'll cut right through it. So just work your way around. Cut off a little bit of high spots, wherever they may be. Once you get it flat, once you get it flat, you just take your collet, slide it over. You, you're going to see that it's tapered. You want the taper going down. Go ahead and put that on there until it sits flush. And then you're going to take your fitting itself and just slide it right in the hose. Now depending on if you got the same brand hose as the fittings you may be a, a battle to get this to go in there and sometimes it's necessary to take a little sandpaper and uh, you know kinda sand this down a little bit get that coating off of there and it helps it slide in easier but let's see if this one will go sometimes they go right in other times they're a battle That one starting to go. There it goes. That one went in not too bad. You just seat it down until it's flush. And then you slide the nut up the tube. Sometimes it can be hard, like I said, if you're mix mashing, uh, mix maxing mix matching excuse me the uh, fittings with the, t the brand of hose so just slide it up 
Make sure none of them steal from the the uh, best steel is in your threads because these are aluminum threads and they will strip easy if you got a piece of strand of the steel in the thread. So make sure you got it trimmed good enough. And what you got there, you just kind of start threading what I like it on. To do is uh, get your vise here, get you a piece of cloth or a rag to wrap it so you don't tear up your damn fittings. And then uh, I go ahead and put it in the vise. to hold it. Oh. So let's tighten it down and then you just start threading it. Got me a nice A in wrench here so they don't mar up the, the fittings. And I just start going, going to town tightening it down. Keep tightening it, <clears throat> excuse me, till it's uh, flush, till the nut becomes flush with the fitting, and that'll crimp down that collet and seal that line, keep it from coming apart. go get her nice and tight take her out of the vise and then, then you got your uh, got your hose end on there real nice